Good morning and hello world, I'm Maya Sundermeyer and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my blog series. So far I've been able to share my own experiences with you guys on what it's like to live on the autism spectrum. Other times I like to give my two cents on what's going on with autism in the media. A third area which is really big is I enjoy giving tips and advice to individuals on the spectrum as well as their families and their peers and their mentors and anybody that's in the community such as employers or teachers. A fourth area that I love doing that I don't do very often is cover topics that I'm passionate about that have absolutely nothing to do with autism whatsoever. And before I begin, I uh, wanted to let you know that there will be cards uh, throughout my blogs of uh, other YouTube channels that are autism related, and I'm going to name three. The first one I suggest to you is TED, and TED is a series of talks on... Uh, Things that are intelligent, and we can have self-experts with autism, and we can have um, researchers that have looked at autism, and we can have all sorts of talks on autism on TED. And a uh, second uh, channel that I would recommend to you is by um, Asper Kids, and I ended up uh, meeting that author at... Uh, uh, the Temple Grandin conference back in uh, November of last year and we really hit it off and she's a really unique person so I've decided to promote her stuff so be sure to check her out she is amazing and in fact I need to start watching her as well and a third uh, person I would recommend she's popular on YouTube is uh, Amethyst Shaber she has lots of insight on autism and a lot of serious input and she has a beautiful entry to her blogs so anyway give her a check out anyway uh, what I would like to do with you guys is uh, give my two cents on what's going on with autism in the media and then tell you guys a little bit what's going or on what goes on so it was most recently discovered that there was a, a barber in the UK that found a really cool tactic uh, to uh, give an individual on the spectrum a haircut. And rather than sitting him in a chair with uh, the traditional smock on, uh, he had him laying on the floor looking at his cell phone while uh, the barber cut his hair. And that was because uh, he would get scared whenever a barber would try to trim around his ears and that would cause him to go into sensory overload and run away. And I just think that's really, really cool that somebody else was willing to work with him in a unique and cool manner that would work for this young man. And I know that there are lots of individuals on the autism spectrum that cannot stand getting their hair cut because they don't like the thought of being touched. And I remember specifically that uh, there was um, another self-advocate on the spectrum who I met at a second autism support group that I have not really talked about yet. And it, he mentioned that he refused to get his hair cut because he was so scared of being touched. So he just let his beautiful long red hair and this long red beard grow out, but he knew how to take care of his hair and he knew what he was doing. So again, um, if you guys have any questions or comments on my video blog, I would absolutely love to hear from you, and I would absolutely love to um, hear what you have to say. I mean, how many of you in here uh, have that problem? I mean, and, and how do you uh, go and get your hair cut? Do you cut it yourself? Do you go to a barber and have them cut it a certain way, like uh, James Williams? Or Jim Williams? Do Or, or do you... Uh, not cut it at all and just let it grow out. Uh, let me know what you do. Uh, in the meantime, also uh, do not forget to subscribe to my channel and check out these cards above and look at these other sources. And uh, also be sure to share my blogs on Twitter and on YouTube. And also do not forget to check out my Twitter page, which is um, summergirl34 and follow me. I often put a lot of my videos on there. Until next time, I'm Maya and I'm signing off.